Welcome to Tech Notice. Talking about computers and mice isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but the truth is every single person who uses a computer or a Mac uses a mouse of some sort. Now I've been using the Logitech MX Master Mice for years now and these have been like my go-to choice when choosing an editing mouse because I just like the way they are, they're very good quality, just I like what I'm getting from there. But recently, the past few weeks, I've been using this odd-shaped mouse. And the truth is, I think I'm switching and I absolutely love the experience of this. Let's talk about it. First of all, I'm going to talk about the uh, overview of the mouse, like what this mouse comes with, some of the features, what's in the package and things like that, because it's a little bit more to it than just the Logitech mouse. And then we're going to look at my user experience and then where you can buy it from. Now, first of all, the main thing you're going to notice is that this mouse is a very odd shape. And the reason for that is because it's an ergonomic mouse. And the whole reason for this is that your, your hand, the way your hand is on the mouse this is like the natural way how you would have your hands on the on the table because you wouldn't have your hands on the table like that you would have them like that just like a comparison how my arm over here would be on the logitech mouse as you can see and then when i move it to the ergonomic mouse you can see that it's twisted a little bit on this side and then it's much more natural way of using the mouse and this is like the main feature of the mouse is that the way you would hold this mouse like that would create much less strain on your arm like that because it's much more natural way of using a mouse like that and then clicking on the mouse so if you look on the top over here we have a button over here and a little display on the display you can see the battery percentage how much is left you can see your DPR you can see the mod which you have been connected to and like a little uh, antenna or aerial and that will show you like how well is the connection between this mouse and the computer so if that starts going down you know you probably know you're too far from the computer this button on the top over here this changes the DPI and there is a few options out there from 800, 1200, 1600, 2400 and 4000 DPI. Then moving on the right side of the mouse, we can see that there is two buttons over here. Obviously left and right click and a scroll wheel. The scroll wheel clicks down as well. On the other side, on the thumb side, we have another ball over here. And this is uh, the, you know, horizontal scrolling of the mouse. And it's very, very good position so you can easily just move it with your thumb it just works very very great over there also on the bottom of the thumb are forwards and backwards button which takes a little bit longer to get used to because usually on the mouse you would click like up rather than clicking down over here looking on the back of the mouse over here you can see that there is this awesome little grill and little shapes and things like that and then there's two little like holes over there and this is like a light sensor basically so if i cover this you can see that the light turns off on the back of the mouse so basically it's when you use the mouse over there and cover the light sensor over there it just turns the rgb off and doesn't use the rgb as much but the thing is uh, you can configure this like what rgb it's going to use on the software you can download the software and then put like your own rgb over there if you wanted to but this back panel actually comes off with a magnet and you can replace it with just a solid background if you don't want that now let's move on to the bottom of the mouse on the bottom you can see there is obviously the laser optics on and off switch and there is a mode button over here and you can flick through three different modes one is the 2.5 g receiver that is actually plugged in the back over there and then two bluetooth modes so instantly you can by this button you can switch between devices like let's say you've got your laptop and your you know main pc and something else you can actually configure them and connect all of these different devices to this mouse and then change them instantly like that it's very similar to like the logitech mouse over there where you can just switch the different devices that you want your mouse connected to one thing that the logic that doesn't have and this one have has which is just amazing is the actual like storage place for the receiver so there's like a little magnetic compartment on the bottom over there and you can just slot the usb receiver in there and it stays there and it's not interfering with your mouse usage when the receiver is not plugged in so you can just leave it there and use the mouse it's completely fine but on the logitech i always like lose the receiver because there's nowhere to put it in the mouse i wish there was i like that about this a lot now there's a few things that come in the box with the mouse that are actually quite helpful so if you like a wrist rest or hand rest then this is a really cool accessory over here it literally just attaches magnetically boom 
and it's really really cool so if you if you like your hand to actually rest on like a wrist rest as well and use it that way you can completely do that and it's very easy to detach or attach it now if you're wondering if it's gonna get loose during the usage that's not the case it's absolutely awesome now I personally don't like to use the wrist rest because I feel like I'm actually dragging with me quite a lot of estate when I'm using the wrist rest but I just like to use it like that and because I'm using it on quite high DPI as well I don't have to do a lot of movements with my hand and move it all the way around also when the battery runs out you do get a cable with the mouse that you can connect to and this is like actually a fourth way of connecting the mouse to the computer if you wanted to you can actually just plug it in on the top over here this is a USB-C port you plug it in there and then plug the other side of the USB into the computer and now your mouse is connected through this USB cable the cool thing about this USB cable, which I haven't seen on any of the other mice that I've used, especially the Logitech, is that this cable is very very light it almost feels like like a shoelace it's very very light it's not very rigid the cable that comes with the logitech when you have plugged it in for example when the battery runs out and you have to use it plugged in then it's a little bit uh, annoying to use the logitech mouse compared to this one because this cable is so light you don't actually feel that anything is attached to the mouse so all of the usability features you're not gonna lose any when plugging the mouse in through usb C cable and you can use any of your own USB-C cables as well if you wanted to but the included one is very very awesome the last thing I do want to mention is that this mouse actually comes with a few different colors now as you can see over here mine is a uh, selected black and there is white blue and green options available as well I think the black looks pretty cool like the most slickest but if you like a little bit of few more colors then you can actually change the color as well if you wanted to so now the most important thing the user experience of the mouse now the the first time I started to use this it felt a little bit odd to your hand because your hand is so used to just going the one way and just using the mouse like that at first you were a little bit like oh I'm trying to get used to this so the shape was a little bit odd but actually after like a day or two I was completely used to the new shape and I liked using it and now the truth is when I'm going back to the Logitech mouse it just feels a little bit odd and a little bit weird in your hand but this new mouse it just feels very natural on your hand and I like how it feels now I'm using a lot of this thumb wheel or scroll over here scrolling through the timeline you know left and right and when you want to zoom or zoom in or out I'm using this scroll wheel on the like the middle finger on the right side now the only thing that the Logitech mouse does better in terms of the scrolling wheels is that the Logitech scrolling wheel is like like magnetic so if you wanted to just like flick the scroll wheel and it just keeps scrolling down it, it does that this one doesn't have that so you have to like keep scrolling but general editing experience is super super nice like I just like how my hands are actually just feels very very natural way of using this I can't find anything bad to really say about this mouse because I just really like it there may be only one downside if I'm comparing this to the Logitech like you know head to head is that it just feels like maybe a little bit lower quality materials used for this one the Logitech feels very very premium and you're paying the paying the premium on this one but this one is much much cheaper I don't think the materials really matter that much now let's talk about where you can buy this from now the thing about this mouse is that this mouse actually is a Kickstarter crowdfunded campaign but the cool thing is that this like project actually reached the target within 10 minutes when the campaign was launched and there's absolutely loads of packing for this mouse now I'm hoping that this will come into actual production and you can like see it on sale on Amazon and things like that as well so keep your eyes on the links in the description below where I'm gonna leave where you can buy this mouse from like for the price point what they offer and what it looks like how it uses all the features and things I think it's just an amazing product it's almost half the price as the Logitech mouse and it gives me all the good features plus I like the ergonomic design and you know RGB if you like the RGB as well so if you want to check out this uh, deluxe M618XS mouse then check out the links in the description below I'm gonna leave the mouse in there where you can find this mouse that's it really thanks guys for watching hit the like button if you found it helpful subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one if you have reached to this point of the video a question to you what mouse are you rocking right now? Are you using an MX Master? Are you using something else? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching, bye bye.